Good morning everyone, this is the BMW iX1 xDrive 30. This car is all-wheel drive, 313 horsepower, has a 64, 65 kilowatt hour usable battery and today we're going to do a range test at 110 kilometers an hour. I'm charging to 100%, should be done very very soon. I arrived with 93 or 92. Um, and uh, on the drive we talk about how the car is, how does it feel like, how is long distance driving, even though we're doing 110 today. For the rest of Europe we're gonna do a, a different test at 130 for Germany and Austria, so you guys know as well. I just want to see how the car is, I have it since yesterday. Thanks to BMW for giving me this car, uh, I'm excited to drive. I'm on my way, I'm driving 113 kilometers an hour and today I can show you. I have an app running, uh, this will uh, record the whole trip. So I'm driving GPS speed 110, average speed so far is 95, drove 21 kilometers. Awesome! <laughs> I thought I'd try this once. Uh, and see the difference to Google Maps and if it's the same I use this and I don't have to look at Google Maps even though I can just write down a few trips and drive the same way uh, it's fine um, I'm driving in efficiency mode you can see that down there I have my climate on 22 degrees fan speed 1 uh, not, uh, not auto no AC and my driving data so far is this, we are down to 92%, started at 100, so far 215 watt hours per kilometer, 22.6, that's the same as shown down here by the way, uh, kilometers driven. Yes, I have turned off that in, in efficient mode, the climate is also uh, uh, using less power because it's nonsense because uh, all of what it does, it heats up your car slower, <laughs> uh, but it's the same energy, so I don't, I don't get it. Uh, I, I turned it off, I don't need that. I'm at 75% and I drove 85 kilometers. This would mean 340 kilometers of full range. Consumption is 177 watt hours per kilometer, which is pretty good. Uh, I'm happy with that. Drive is nice, a lot of trucks, but I can pass very nicely. Yeah, my, my app, <laughs> user arrow I pressed something and it reset or, or it closed and then it started again so we won't be relying on the app for average speed and kilometers and so but I noticed that uh, after 50 kilometers it was, was like 300 meters off so it's not that bad it's all okay we go on I'm gonna turn around very soon then we go back and then in the direction of Munich I'm at 50% and I drove 173 kilometers, which would, would mean 346 kilometers of range, so the range increased. Um, average consumption is 177 watt hours per kilometer. I already noticed that the gasometer is not that amazing because I have 
for one and a half hours I have driven like this and it's around this consumption the whole time so the range should be around 175 kilometers I'm not complaining about a few kilometers off but this is 20 kilometers off it shows me 195 watt hours per kilometer it's a bit sad but that's how it is I've changed highways and still trucks here that's weird <laughs> so I will go in this direction till the navigation tells me I will arrive with around 10 percent then I will turn around and I uh, learned from the i7 that the percentage that it shows is not very accurate and it switched a few times in the i7 so eh, we'll see <laughs> I'm not, not gonna go lower than 10 arrival not that it goes three four five percent in each direction i rather arrive with 15 percent than with uh, zero and my average speed by the way is around 109 kilometers an hour because i'm driving my 110 but every time i have to pass a truck or something um, i have to accelerate so it don't slow people behind me down i'm not a, a, a mean guy i want them to drive as fast as they want and I turned around one time that I will turn around another time and then go back to the gas uh, to the charger which will get the average speed a bit down but not too much I just turned around at around 40% but this is not halfway um, I have 93 kilometers to the charger have 126 kilometers of range that is 34 kilometers of margin usually on the way back consumption is a bit less so we'll see um, car tells me I should arrive with 8% We'll see if this uh, switches around like with the i7, I hope not. 8% is fine because the last 10 kilometers is downhill anyways. And I don't know if this uh, uh, calculation includes elevation change, no idea. Yeah, uh, uh, navigation now tells me I will arrive with 3% even though I have 27, 35 kilometers of margin. 34 <laughs> we'll see if I have to slow down no but let's talk about how is it to drive the iX1 and overall it's very comfortable suspension is good I like it steering on a long distance trip like now it's fine on the country road I'm not the biggest fan of the steering it's not bad but other cars do that better the uh, cruise control is amazing the same with the self steering is amazing I have auto lane change here on the highway where it steers itself it looks if everything is fine and then just goes over it does it very fast so it waits and then does it very fast totally fine consumption so far I'm pretty impressed with how the car is 174 watt hours per kilometer range at the end if it's really 370 kilometers I'm also um, a pleasantly surprised sound system is okay I'm sitting comfortable it's all fine uh, the only thing I see and we'll do this in a different video I think that the space for the rear passenger is very limited so leg room especially because when I open the door I see my, my seat and it looks like it's very close to the rear seat <laughs> with 14 percent drove 308 kilometers average consumption 173 watt hours per kilometer 
I looked at Google Maps and the kilometers are spot on. That's awesome, 308 kilometers. And when I say that I used 86% for this drive, that would mean a full range of 358 kilometers. So the state of charge is not very linear. Also, the navigation kept on saying uh, that I arrive with 0% till the end. So it doesn't calculate, hey, maybe I'm driving slower. So it, it really thinks you're driving on a highway that means 130 you will arrive with that state of charge. That's a bit weak. So it doesn't consider your consumption at all. It just puts in a number. It's an, a very rough estimation that's not very good. I will charge a bit. I just got 125 kilowatt. Peak should be 130. And then I will uh, go home. And on Sunday we do the 130 kilometers an hour test. But that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.